Anybody knows anything? From the birth they learn something. Huh? Each and everything we are learning from others. Am I correct? Today also they cook. Mataji told us he is going to make some rasamalai. I never know how to make that one. <laughs> I asked us, he told me this very very easy I can do. Huh? She learned that one. She did. So there are so many things we are learning from others. We never knew anything actually. Is it? And what we are learning from others and what they know, they only they will teach us. Isn't it? But they do not know what is the aim of life. Accordingly, they don't teach us. Isn't it? All the parents are good. They want to take care of their children. But they do not know what is the aim of life. How to help the child not to get another material body. They do not know. But they are very, very good. They are very, very good. Huh? Good intention. But they do not know because of the ignorance. Isn't it? And we may also say that I am also involved in devotional service. If you take Bhagavad Gita from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and ask them to have this one, they say, yes, this yes, yes, we have. My grandmother, grandfather, everybody, uh, they read, they do, we do some devotional service, this, that, and all. But actually we should see our activity is pleasing Krishna or not. Everybody do. Even the thief who is about to go out to steal, he also worships. Isn't it? My dear Krishna, please help me. I should not get caught. Isn't it? He is also doing universal service. What's the difference then? So it doesn't mean that Krishna is pleased with all our activities. We do not know what is good or what is bad, what is needed or what is wanted. Huh? That's the thing. We do not know all these things. We can see what is apparent, but we do not know what is the cause for that apparent things that we do not know. The cause of our causes is Krishna. We don't know Krishna. Huh? That's why we need a Guru. Without Guru, our human form is absolutely useless. Even Krishna descends. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rama, all people, they accept Guru. The difference is, we can also do devotional service. Huh? That Nina please Krishna. What is the speciality of ISKCON? ISKCON is the only organization in the entire universe huh? which can help anyone in any condition anywhere. No other organization can help because this is coming from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna Himself. So the very beginning and the very last one is, in Iskan we say, chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. It means that we are requesting Krishna through his internal energy Radharani that, Oh my dear Krishna, please engage me in your service forever, eternally. 
we are requesting Krishna to engage us. It is not that we are requesting, let me engage in your service as a like. Huh? The difference is, we do not know how to engage in Krishna consciousness. We, we do not know. That's why we are asking Krishna, please engage me. There are two things, huh? we are doing voluntarily what we like. One is we are forced to act what is Krishna, what Krishna wants. In that one, obviously which one is going to please Krishna? First one or second one? Doing ourselves or doing on order of Krishna, which one? Everybody, everybody accepts? Isn't it? Guru is not an ordinary person. That's the point. We cannot consider a Guru as an ordinary person like you and me. That's why he can engage us. He can engage us so that, that each action what we obey, the Guru's instruction is going to please Krishna. And please understand the difference between we do voluntarily and we are forced to do Huh? On order of Guru, even if we are not successful in our endeavor, Krishna is pleased. We need not be successful. That's not necessary. At least if you attempt without having any hesitation of all the disciples, Huh? To my knowledge, my realization, I like one devotee. Huh? She is Mataji, Yamuna Devi Mataji. Huh? She likes Prabhupada's instructions. Huh? She never said no to the instruction. We suppose if you say something, we will just use our word here. Intelligence and this is correct, this is wrong, this is correct, better to do like that. That's, she never does like that one. Anything Prabhupada tells, she accepts. Such a wonderful Mataji. He likes, Prabhupada likes her to sing that song. Govinda Adi Purusha Tamaham Bajami Krishna like, Prabhupada likes. So he wanted the song to be played in each and every center. How great the uh, Yamuna Devi Mataji, please understand. One simple example, huh? when they were traveling in a time, it's our time, and Prabhupada wants some cooked rice. Huh? You all must be knowing this one. But still it is my duty to tell, remind. Huh? That's the odd time. It is impossible to get the cooked rice. So Prabhupada wanted. So Yamuna Devi, she told, yes, we are going to prepare it. She never told Prabhupada, this is the odd time, we cannot get the rice, we cannot go to this. She never told, just like Vasudeva. When Vasudeva was ordered to take the baby to Gokula, he never asked, huh? my hands are bowed, my legs are bowed. He never used his my intelligence. Huh? Like the Kemana baby never used anything proper tells, he accepts. Huh? And she went to the pantry. That the manager is telling, no, no, this is the after we cannot help you, we cannot help Gokula is, that's not possible. And she pleaded, pleaded to my Guru Maharaj once. Huh? How important it is to serve the Guru Maharaj. He told it's impossible. Why you are uh, wasting your time? That's not possible. You come up later on. But she tells now, right now, I want it. He tells it's impossible. If it is impossible, I'm going to jump out from this train. You will get caught. Because of you, I am jumping out. Huh? How bad she was. Huh? How much attached to the words of his, her Guru Maharaj. Then the 
the manager to don't jump out <laughs> i will give you rice then she made it huh so this is the thing from huh between krishna and the each one of us there is no inter medium plus no one in between like the twin between guru and disciple there is no one in between in this statement i like this guru maharaj sankarshan das alkari she travels throughout the world and he takes all his disciples he meets every every year huh? for india she he comes to twice i think so huh? he meets each and every one he is telling the fan anyone has any doubt or any clarification request you can contact me through any means huh? i will reply you within 48 hours wherever i am he is always roaming 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 around a guru means one who takes care of his disciple otherwise there is no meaning for a guru the post is also not necessary huh this world we were born ignorantly and in a huh? great ignorance such a guru he knows how to engage but we do not know how to engage huh so this is the point so anuradha mata the land that from rasmalai and she made it she uh, she is successful in our endeavor also we all should be successful we are going to school we are getting through the examinations we are passing out if you are not passing out then what is the use of going to school Huh? coming to one satsang like this one and if you just merely waste your time and we are not huh, sharing our visions love of God then what is the use of such one hmm? isn't it so the best one in Bhagavad Gita the relationship between the Guru and the Shishya are there in Fourth chapter. Huh? You all must be knowing this. Two slokas. 434-435. Tadvitti Vanipathena Pariprasnena Sevaya Upalekshanti Tegjana Dhanina Tattva Darsana To obtain the absolute truth we should approach a spiritual master first approaching then inquire submissively not arrogantly not challenging way submissively submission huh? submission means we cannot withdraw our own ideas to complete or to challenge or to defeat that's not the submission submission means the animal the goat sold out in a market the owner is changed completely now the new owner huh? the goat has to obey the new owner isn't it so submissively and render service to him these are three points are very very important approaching a spiritual master submissively inquiring and render service then if the guru is pleased he imparts the transcendental knowledge because he has seen the truth huh? here the guru has seen this bona fide guru he must have seen the absolute truth it is not simply telling that chant minimum 16 rounds follow for regulatory principle serve all vaishnavas and his duty is to show the absolute truth to his disciple 
Even the spiritual Deshi and the disciples, they should also have a duty to learn to see the absolute truth. Mantras, Pasas, the Kaunteya Slokam. In that we have to learn to try to tolerate. We have to learn it. Isn't it? Like that thing we have to learn from Guru to see the absolute truth. If he is not insisting that point, he is mere waste. He is not a bona fide disciple. Huh? Isn't it? Now we are going to see how best the Anuradha Mataji prepared that Rasmalai afterwards. Huh? That's the result. We have to see now. Like that then after taking initiation, the result should be in 435. Can anyone tell the slogan? Yajnathana Punarmoham Evam Yashyasi Pandava Punarmoham, the illusion, the ignorance should not be there. You are once you are initiated means and you accepted your Guru, you are following the instructions means you should not fall again into Illusion. Huh? Isn't it? Again you are in illusion means there is no meaning of taking initiation. There is no, you are wasting your time. Huh? If I, I'm learning how to roll the chapatis and I'm keep trying, huh? trying, trying, trying and I'm not making, then what is the use of the tire? Isn't it? I should make after some time. Experience make a man perfect. Isn't it? Like the term after getting trained, after getting the absolute truth from your spiritual master, you should not fall again in illusion. What is that illusion? The illusion is he has to see Krishna in each and every one. But we are always fighting with others, our own grandfathers. If you see Krishna in our grandfathers, where is the question of quarreling with him? Why to create enmity with him? It means we are not seeing Krishna at all. It means he has not taken initiation at all. Isn't it? Please insist on these two slokas, 34 and 35. Evam Buddha Sarvatma Drakshasi Atmana Atramai After getting this absolute knowledge, we have to see Krishna in each and everyone, everywhere. And know that everything is Krishna's. Everything is Krishna's. This knowledge only we should acquire after getting initiation. Otherwise our initiation is, has no meaning at all. Is it? If I learn how best to roll the chapatis mean, I have to show you everyone, you see I am rolling. Is it? I know what is the use. Huh? So here, on our own, if you do something, we cannot come out from the illusion. If you engage according to the instruction of the Guru, then you can say Krishna everywhere and everywhere. You got the point? Please go through these two slokas and understand whether I really got the absolute truth or not. This is the duty of the Guru. This is the duty of the disciple to learn and not to fall again into this illusion. Illusion means not considering everyone as Krishna's. Easy, I am, I am. It is mine, that is yours. Huh? I am Mameti. Me and mine. You should not be there. Then only we are free from illusion. Otherwise, we are as to taken 
initiation from a guru, huh? we are not initiated. Chant and be happy. If you are not happy, we never chant it. If you are not coming out from the illusion, we have not taken any initiation. Huh? Please test yourself and try to see the Paramatma in all and everyone and think that each and everyone is the property of Krishna. Don't exploit the property of Krishna. Serve them. If they do not know that they are the property of Krishna, we have to preach them nicely. Huh? Then the duty of guru and disciple is properly executed. Such a disciple is going to become guru, representative of Krishna. Okay? Now this is the relationship between guru and disciple. Now we are going to see practically uh, who are going to uh, glorify Sankarshandas Adhikari Prabhuji voluntarily. There is no compulsion. Now please, glorifying your Vaishnava means purifying oneself. If we want to purify ourselves, we have to glorify one Vaishnava. Whether we know him or not, but his position we know. Accordingly we can do it. I never met him. I never spoke to him. Is it? But I collected few things about him. Even if I am not knowing Tattvataha, we already discussed what is Tattvataha in previous classes. Huh? So like that one, at least the disciple should know the Guru Tattvataha. Okay? 